to start at two o'clock and then I had to finish something off and then I had to sort out issues with my mic but I'm on now um hope everybody is having a nice day and uh enjoying the um miserable weather but um no right let's crack on um just uh load up Newcastle save leave it in full mode for everybody um just um while I'm at it I'll just quickly show you my new thumbnail I'll just need to find it first um, uh, browser browser uh, oh actually I'll do it I'll do it next time I'm on stream sorry about that uh, uh, what have I done here? Oh, hold on. Browser. Get rid of it. Sorry about that. Right, let's crack on. Um, yeah, I want to thank um, Gizzy on the Side Games forums for helping me and the other people that give me advice when it comes to sorting out my thumbnail. Um, I'll be putting them on my Twitch later on so you can see for yourself but yeah I'm quite in, quite happy with uh, how it went sorry I'm just editing the title you can tell I'm a complete newbie can't you I should have done all this before uh, there we go right so where we were last time is um, we're currently second in the Premier League we're two points behind Man United I find it amazing that Man United is top of uh, the Premiership because that won't happen in real life for a long time and that's coming from Man United um, yeah we're doing well right so we're playing Everton now Everton very defensively strong so we will be in for a battle with them with Sean Dyche in charge starting lineup Pope Trippier Shah um, Botman Byrne Longstaff Joe Linton Correa um, Brian Diaz Anthony Gordon and then Isaac up front no oh, there we are Yeah, I've been last day and a half. I've been trying to get the thumbnail thumbnails right, and um, yeah, it was uh, it was definitely work in progress. It was from the start to what we got in the end. Um, yeah, I'm quite happy with it to be honest, and I do appreciate the feedback I got off people. Oh, trip over the corners. It's an early goal. Oh, scored over. Um, yeah, I do appreciate the feedback from the people on the Sidegame forums. Um, it helped me make a better thumbnail to the point where I feel like me and others as well were probably quite happy with it. Um, so yeah, it was like a combined effort. And um, yeah, like I said, a shout out to Gizzy who gave me uh, a bit of a help. Oh, what a goal by Anthony Gordon. There we go, starting strong. He has with the assist, our, probably our player of the season. Signing of the season as well, I reckon. Um, let's just check. So we got him on loan. It's contract. Winning the Premier League 9.5. Oh, so is this just a loan? I wonder if I can see if I can buy him. Oh, we've already got him. Oh, so I see, oh yeah. So I assume that he just well I don't know actually does he sign for us oh, I don't know I'm confused by that um, okay anyway sorry let's crack on right Everton with the free kick skied over luckily
Sorry, I was just messing around with the mic. There we go. Right then, tricky with the throw in to Joe Linton. Joe Linton with the pass to Brahim. Brahim saved by Pickford. We got it back. Botman in possession to Burn. Burn. Ah, that was a terrible pass. Absolutely terrible. Everton now with the ball. Passing it nicely. Intercepted by Correa. Joe Linton. Now with Gordon. Gordon goes past the defender. Oh, look at that. Fighting like Ryan Giggs in his peak. Not not the uh, person Ryan Giggs, the footballer, the the the, the, the person, um, yeah, tarnished his reputation unfortunately. Um, we'll go with John Barnes. John Barnes has not done anything wrong. We'll go with him. The young John Barnes. Trippier now passes it to Korea. Korea gets fouled. Is this going to be a penalty? VAR will decide. Yes, penalty awarded. Isaac with the penalty lines up. Pickford known for his penalty saves, but not good enough for Isaac. Isaac scores. Hello to the people in the chat room today. Hope you're all all right. Feel free to um, post anything here and in the chat room, and I'll answer you. To, I'll check every so often, and I'll answer you. Oh, did I just miss a goal? I just missed a goal because I wasn't paying attention. Gordon, uh, no, Gordon, Burn. Joe Linton now. I feel like we're going to absolutely destroy Everton here in this game. We're already 4 0 up. Oh my god, what a cross and what a header. Or volley. Absolutely destroying. I feel sorry for Everton now. Everton doing well in real life after that unfair. Well, I would say unfair. They probably deserved the punishment because they did do wrong. But compared to Man, oh my God, we're just romping this. Oh no, disallowed. Um, yeah, compared to Man City and Chelsea, Everton were probably hard done by. But hopefully, Man City and Chelsea will get um, persecuted, and hopefully they'll get relegated. But um, with this European Super League that might be coming along again now, I don't think they'll. I think Man City and Chelsea, if they if they they're one of the teams that break away, I don't think they'll care that much about being punished by the Premier League. So they won't be in it. That's what we got to look forward to. Unfortunately, with football, six 0 at the moment. Isaac hat trick, two goals by Gordon and one by Burn. Oh my God, Dan Burn again gets his second goal. He's a uh, six. I can't remember how. How do you find out the height on here? Uh, it's here somewhere. No. Uh, how tall was he? I'm gonna Google it because it's bugging me. Dan. Just gonna Google Dan Burn height. Be six foot six, so you can't teach that um, at the end of the day. Uh, yeah, six foot six. That's what you want in your defence. Is the Giants who also plays left back weirdly. Seven nil, absolutely wrong tip. Isaac hat trick, two for Gordon, two for Burn. Great display by the lads. We're now top of the league. Man United have got a game to play though, so they could easily come back. Now, we definitely need to win our next game against Benfica. We're currently second, but we definitely can't lose that game. Praise Isaac. Well done, Isaac. Isaac now starting to hit ball nicely. Uh, yeah, let's get rid of crack. Not good enough. Mills, 14 year old, that 
14 year old that I noticed last week not last week, last stream sorry just going to pray his burn as well hope everybody's done their Christmas shopping I just um, I got I went to the barbers and I had to wait ages because everybody's getting their hair cut at the same time and then I went and got the last few Christmas cards I needed to get so yeah, so I'm all sorted now. Off to my girlfriend's for five days, starting tomorrow. So it'd be nice to spend some time with her and relax. Um, I will, I might do some streaming here and there over the Christmas period. I don't know yet. Depends on whether I've got the time to. Um, I'll try and get one stream in. I'm also going to be starting. After Boxing Day, as well as streaming regularly in my Newcastle save, I'm also going to be starting a Everton save for YouTube. Um, there'll be one hour episodes every day, hopefully. Um, um, they do three or four seasons with Everton, where they it's one season ahead, so it's the end of the first season. It's a save file that somebody posted on the Saigon Foreign Tycoons Fred and um, Everton got taken over by uh, a billionaire and they are five they've got five hundred million in the bank. They're predicted to be they're predicted to have one point seven billion in the bank within two years. And um, the thing that makes it interesting is they they in the first season they get relegated. So you're in the championship but you've got I think it was hundred and eighty million when I looked. So I've got 180 million to spend on getting a team together, not only to get back up into the Premiership, but also to then go into the Premiership and challenge. Because the expect with all that money to spend, the expectations are going to be very high. So I've got to get my recruitment right, um, and I've got to hope that all the players gel. But it's going to be interesting. Save. I know it's not for everybody because it seems quite easy. Um, but to start off with, I'm going to be doing a few easy saves like this, um, like the Newcastle one and the Everton one, and then eventually I will be streaming a Journeyman Twitch stream, and and then probably do um, I'm thinking a youth only save with Burton Albion, so no signings at all, and uh, just simply just uh, using players from my youth recruitment. There's an, there's, I'm also thinking maybe Southampton with that, but I think that might be too easy. Uh, I'm only, I was only thinking of Southampton because of their previous history of producing really good young players. So we'll see. But right, um, so we've now got Benfica in the next Champions League game. The lineup: Pope, Trippier, Shaw, Botman, Target. Target's back. That's good. Bruno's back. Joe Linton, Correa. Brahim Diaz, Gordon, and Isaac. This is probably our strongest team, I reckon. Uh, submit team. Thank you to the five people that are here. I hope you're enjoying the stream. Feel free to post anything in the chat room if you feel like asking me anything about the save or anything about me or anything about my the future content I'm going to produce. I'm, Oh, Raheem. Oh, let's go get over. Have we got an injury already? Oh, Curry is injured already. We'll take him off. Target now. Oh, that was a terrible pass target. I'll let you off as you're probably a bit rusty because you've been injured for a while. Come on, Newcastle. You can do it. Do it for the Geordies. Do it for the Geordies, like... Oh, interception there by Isaac. Isaac blasted it in. He punishes their defence. Another injury. Two injuries in the space of the first 22 minutes of the game. That's not good. Oh, 
bit quiet in here, no highlights coming up. Oh, there we go. Bruno. He's got a pass in him. Whoa. Oh, that was so close then, getting a second goal. Just going to slow down the highlights a little bit. I feel like they're a, bit, a little bit fast. Try that. Oh, Benfica with the throw. Hopefully we can intercept this and create a chance with it. They're slowly passing the ball around. Oh. Oh, that's it. No, what are you doing? Oh, that was a slick little pass, that was. I'll give him that. Oh. I just had a feeling that was going to be a goal. Don't worry. We've still got a chance here. Um, just bear with me, I've just got to do something on Twitch. Sorry about the dead air, I'm just being told that people were struggling to find me on here. I don't know if that's corrected it. Um, bear with me. Sorry about this. Two seconds, and then I'll be back on it. I'm a typical bloke. We can't multitask. start the second half in a minute I just I just want to get this thing done first because people are going to struggle to find me then needs to uh, right, I think I should just do that right, okay I'm fixing it now right I fixed it now for anybody that was uh, worried they can't find me. Hopefully now people find it easy to find me. Right, let's crack on with the second half. Sorry about that. Anderson's in. Anderson screwed as well. Um, right, let's figure out what we're going to do. Anderson. And he just come on, he's bloody injured. Harvey Barnes is not 100%, but we'll put him on. So that's three substitutions already. Let's hope we don't get any more injuries. Oh, great save by Pope. Come on. Diaz looks knackered, so I'm going to take him off now. But um got no choice. Oh, we can't make any more subs because I forgot you can only make three subs in the Champions League. Not the Premiership. That is annoying. Right, try encouraging the team. Hopefully that'll do something. To be honest though, Benfica have been better than us in this game, I think. Hopefully this highlight will change that. Target. To Gordon, back to target. We'll target cross it in. No, he's going inside. Oh, another corner, Trippier. Oh, unlucky. We've got another corner from this, though. Great clearance by Benfica. Gordon now with the ball. So Shah. Oh, okay. What's the end of that then? Oh no. Benfica with the ball. This is not going to end well for us, is it? I think the players are just knackered. I think they just played so many games. <gasps> that could have been a wonder goal then. That would have been annoying. Keeper had no chance on that one. 
Right, let's try demand more. Let's hope for that'll work. One one, nah, better than a loss. We're still second. We're still four points ahead of Rangers and five points ahead of Benfica, so we should, in theory, do well. But then again, ben Rangers have got to play Napoli, so we just we've got to hope really that Napoli win that, which they should beat Rangers. But you never know. It's not. It's a bit of a tough group. It's hard to figure out who's going to qualify really. Wilcock out for two or three months. Well, that bugs up my plans to try and sell him in January, doesn't it? Um, there's a career out for four, seven days. Right, let's see if I need to rest anybody. There's a lot of players napping by the looks of it. Oh my god. So, literally, all of these players here have now got to be rested. Send them on holiday. Send them on holiday. This is what I usually do. I send them on holiday for a week and then rest them as well. So, that is not going to do well for us how much of a gap that is um, mm, relatively decent lineup who are we playing next though Brighton mm, we should we should be alright we could have done with the rest of them for Rangers game because I think we still got a chance to qualify we should qualify alright right. hold on how many games have we got at all Oh, we've got loads of days. The players will be back by then. Panicking over nothing, eh? Um, Crap has gone to Marseille. I wish you well in your future endeavours, my friend. Right, so just go on holiday until the next match. for the dead air I'm just uh, catching up on a few things while I'm waiting for it anybody in the chat room can you just um, let me know if it's if this has come up as in the Football Manager 2 2024 category please um, just so I know people will find it easier to find me hopefully while I'm waiting for that I'm going to um, change the thumbnails I've got for the previous streams so you can see for yourself go and, uh, go and have a couple of minutes break bag break or something while you're waiting actually saying that though how long is that eight days left no you're probably not worth it now back up in a sec in fact I'll do the switch thing later but yeah once this finishes i'll change the thumbnails so um the people that are watching on here feel free to have a look at my stassi new thumbnails when you get a chance no rush mike's playing up today stay balanced stay there Three days to go. Sorry for the dead air and all that. Up. Oh, cheers, Popsy. I do appreciate it, mate. Um, yeah, somebody pointed it out to me earlier, so I just wanted to correct it. 
hopefully it will help people on my stream so yeah cheers topsy 101 i do appreciate it right let's see what's happened in the last 16 days then harrison oh yeah that's the player i wanted to get rid of anyway uh nobody's after, nobody wants to go after harvey barnes we'll try again in uh But he's doing all right, isn't he? From what he, he played well for us, and now he's he scored fifteen goals for the in uh, reserves or something under twenty one. Sorry, in twenty five games, he scored a goal for us in the Carabao Cup, which we do against in first team football. Right now, though, I think because see what we can do with that. Nick Pope called up to England squad. That's good. All the players we should have a very fresh team but then again it was probably international so we will pick up a few injuries Paul resumes training that's good Miley come off the bench that shows some glimpses of quality well that's good to see how many games he played well he's only played one game for Wolves which is not working out well for him he'd have played more first team football for me I mean look he played one game for me he'd only come on as a sub for bloody Wolves can I terminate? No, I can't. I see if I can terminate the game in January. He needs to be playing first team football if he's not going to be playing for me. Oh, here we go. Injuries. Pope out for three to five days. Isaac out for two or three days. So we're not going to have as the best team possible. Anderson's come back though, so that's good. I wish he was younger because I mean I mean look at the value there. Is he wanted by that's not good for him. Man United, of course, Man United are gonna be after him. You're gonna be paying the top money for him. If you want him, you're gonna have to pay thirty million because I ain't accepting anything less. And I'll be gutted if he goes because you're not gonna find a player. Let's try and find a similar player. Um I mean he's thirty six, he's older, it's just he's not even interesting. So we're not going to get a player as good as Trippier that just knocks it down by one. No, we're going to have to knock it down by two on the attributes. So the closest one is Rhys James, who is interested, so we will add him, but he's, he, he, he's too expensive at the moment, yeah, I feel this. That means we've got to go down even further down. So we're going to scout these players. Oh, no, we won't. Um, maximum we'll put 30 that's going to be Rich James and Leo du, Leo Dubois Dubois who's 29 we'll scout him um, I mean we're minus 146k in the wage budget so that's not good Hopefully we can get some money off the chairman at some point. Uh, leadership team. See, we're not going to... means I'm probably going to have to find a completely different right back. For Trippier, really. Uh, let's knock it down by another one. Let's... You never know. We might find somebody young enough. And get get better with time. I mean, we got Tino. We can always play Tino as right back if it comes down to it. Well, Anthony Gordon's injured. Two weeks. So we're not we're not got Isaac, Gordon, or Pope. Still got. Oh no, Pope is alright. Pope's alright. That's all right. Then. Still 
Jasper is not happy to have changed his score. I don't know why they do this because they're never happy when you change it. Let's try and propose a time and see if that works for the time. Okay. Can you accept? No, no, he's not happy. Let's send him out on loan. So, what do you mean, Copsy? A little bit of audio feedback when you speak, mate. Do you mean echo? Is that what you mean? Can you hear? Is it because I'm not working on to that and see if that makes any difference. <sighs> All these niggling problems you sorted you gotta sort out when you're starting. I don't know how these polished YouTubers do it. Is that any better Copsy? Can you just let me know? Right, so we've got Pope in goal, Trippier right, the defence, Botman and Byrne in the centre, target on the left, Longstaff in there, so no Bruno as well by the looks of it, Joe Linton in the middle, Career on the right, Anderson there, Barnes on the left, Wilson, let's see if Barnes can force himself into the team. that any better copsy or is it still is it echoey is that what it is because i always do um a little test audio test video just to see how i sound like um before i go streaming and it seemed all right to me but it might sound different to you when you're listening to it so just uh just let me know because because obviously you said a little bit of audio feedback i don't know what you mean by are you giving me feedback or oh here we go sorry Basically, a sharp noise in the background only when you're speaking. I you know it as feedback, still, they're a bit powerful. Fortunately, it's something I've never set up, so it's useless when it comes to. Oh, okay. All right, so just bear with it for this stream, and then when I come off, I'll investigate it and hopefully get it just right. I think it might be the sound of my laptop, the fan in the laptop, and then if it's that, um, I don't think there's much I can do. Um, I mean, there's there's noise guards and stuff like that. Oh, did I just... Oh, I instant bloody resulted this. Oh, that's annoying. And we absolutely got crashed. Oh, that's not good. Uh, sorry about that. Must have not been paying attention. Oh, that's annoying. Yeah, no, I appreciate you letting me know because I I, I want to make sure I get it just right because nobody wants to hear no, static noise in the background. I mean, I, I use OBS Studio, so there might be a feature on there to hide that, but when I've been tinkering with the noise guard part of it, um, it ends up, if I go too far one way, it'll end up so, I, so nobody can hear me at all. So I just need to tinker with it and see if I can hear it and that but uh yeah but no I appreciate it thank you right let's get carry on I can't believe I lost five ones of bloody Brighton I don't yeah, I believe that right Rangers next we definitely need to beat Rangers or get a point at least I'm going to change that setting because it's doing it every week because that's just me so if I do it every fortnight we change it to every fortnight so it doesn't waste time saving every week because it's just added seconds that doesn't need to be needed boring for you to watch as well Who 
Who are you uh, managing at the moment then, Copsy? What football team are you managing on FM? Add in to the shortlist. Still top of the league, that's good. Two losses now, though. I feel like if I played that game against Brighton, I feel like I probably wouldn't have lost it. But because I instant resulted it because of the skin I'm using without realising. Because basically, I've got a save on football manager that I do offline with Peebles, uh, Peebles Rovers FC um, because my dad was born in Peebles on the Scottish borders so they are in the Scottish Nun League and I, I, I'm i in my ninth season there. The reason why I'm in, I, I'm in the ninth season is because basically I instant result literally all the games unless it's a really important game and I'll play it but yeah I just instant result most of the games um, so it's just force of habit and I just need to try and remember not to do that when I'm playing my, my Twitch and YouTube streams. Oh, yeah. Um, so he's not worth going for. He's not worth it. He's not worth it. They're all absolutely rubbish by the looks of it. That's not good. Well, we ain't selling Keen and Chifre then. So that'll answer that. We don't care if he gets unhappy. He ain't going. He shouldn't want to leave me anyway. Top of the league at the moment, Man United a second. Right, so we're uh oh, oh Copsy, just I, I should have known you're a Liverpool fan. And uh I was I was hoping as a Man United fan I was hoping you weren't, I was hoping it was just uh coincidence or something. Are you are you a Liverpool I was gonna say you're a Liverpool fan and you're playing as Liverpool. I I I offline I very rarely play as a big team I don't think I don't I think it's been years since I played as Man United um, they should be more of an interesting save now because of the, the disaster of a club that they are but I just I just know within a year or a season or two I'll end up winning the premiership and stuff and it just doesn't really appeal to me I like to take a, a small team you should take um, there's, a, there's a is it AFC Liverpool I think they're a, a non-league team that come together um, when um, not the current owners that you have the ones before they got ousted out they then formed their own similar to FC United and stuff like that so it might be worth you managing them it might be interesting for you see if you can take them and to become the best team in Merseyside might be worth you doing but yeah I know what it's like sometimes you, you just need a break from football manager because it gets a bit you get a bit too it gets a bit too much doesn't it but um yeah, Peeble Rovers at the moment is my offline save. And then I'm doing this one. And then I'm going to be doing a Everton Tycoon save where they're in the championship and they've got ridiculous amount of money. It, it, it's going to it's gonna get boring very quick, so I'm not going to be doing it for long. The plan is to do harder saves on Twitch and YouTube down the road. But for now, while well, I'm getting used to talking to people on here and building an audience, I'm going to pick teams that people especially new people to football manager because there's always people new to the game so um they tend to watch the bigger clubs so yeah but yeah right open goal trippy right back shah in defense with burn target on the left bruno in the middle just behind joe linton and then Correa, brahim almiron and isaac so a strong team no we we'll need to do that again then right let's go Yeah, sometimes you just need an easy save on Football Manager where you can just coast it, where you just waste a bit of time, but you're not really that engrossed into it. I know what you mean. Um, but yeah, I know what you mean, because that's what I do sometimes. I'll do that, and then I'll get bored, and then I'll do a ridiculous challenge and stuff like that. Oh, no. Oh, thank God for that. Come on, we can't lose the Rangers. Too early to shout at them, I think. Trippy with the free kick. Ooh. 
Um, there's a there's a non-league team. I think it's AFC Sudbury. Um, them and Boreham Wood. They've got, I think they've got good youth facilities, and they're known to produce some decent players that end up playing in the EFL leagues. So if you want a challenge, you could do like a youth only challenge with AFC Sudbury or Boreham Wood because that's something I'm probably going to do at some point on here as well. So if you want to get something that you can get really get your teeth into, then that's the type of save I usually do because I get bored of buying all the the great wonder kids out there and all the big players and stuff like that. I my best saves that I find most entertaining is when I'm not spending any money or very little money and I'm only signing free transfers. And I just I I always try and play football manager as a, as a business and try and make the club I'm managing as much money as possible so like I'm always buying cheap players that, that will go on to then sell to make money that's how we always see it so maybe you could do something like that I mean what type of save do you is it usually big teams that you manage that you enjoy Almiron target Almiron now to Brahim to Bruno Trippier, Korea. Oh, come on. Should have done better than that. I think I need to I think I need to give them a telling off here. They they're actually saying that though they are getting they are doing better now. We need to be more quick. we just need to get the goal basically to settle the nerves a bit. Get that ball off Rangers, come on. Yes, great interception there. Almiron now with the ball. the cross oh look at that that was a lovely little goal that was wasn't it let's click on replays and see if that will replay for us it's uh we'll replay it in a minute let's just slow the highlights down there oh for god's sake literally they already scored Let's have a look at the. Uh... Oh, there we go. So this is our goal. This is not a second goal. This is to repeat the first goal. Don't throw anybody worries. So Brahim there with the ball. He did a little swirly, swirly thing, and then Brahim basically volleyed it in. I think. Um, yeah, Everton have equalised though, so that's not good. We're still second though. Still second. That. Might. I think if Rangers win this, they end up becoming second, though, so we cannot afford to lose this game, I think. Just to be on the safe side, I could be wrong. Get rid of it. Where are you going with that? What's going on there? All right, I think it's time to shout at the players in a second when I get a chance to do it. Yeah, Newcastle's a good little team to be, really, um, to manage Copsey, yeah. Um, they're not like the top teams like Man City and stuff like that, but they're not they're like Villa, they're not Aston Villa they're knocking on the door of the the usual top four and, and, and hopefully the um, you know oh my god, that was a ridiculous attempt of a tackle there by Livermento. Oh my oh sorry. Right, I'm gonna speed it up a bit now. There we go. Who's the replay for? Almiron will put Harvey Barnes on. Um, take off target because he's not doing very well. Right, burn now with the ball to Bruno. Great pass. Oh, look at that. Isaac. Oh, come on, Isaac. Too much power in that one. You should have placed it. Let me see out this game. Oh, I just jinxed myself. 
Oh no, it's us. Well, it was them then. Can we do something from this corner? Can we kill this game off and win? We should be beating Rangers anyway. I mean, a draw will do, but we shouldn't. We shouldn't be drawing to Rangers. No, no disrespect to Rangers fans. But, uh... Barnes now with the ball. Oh, okay. Nothing comes out of that. Well, we drew. That's what we needed to do. I think that means we're qualified. We'll just check. Yep. We just, you know, we qualified. We did well. Only one point behind Napoli as well. Spoiled by Benfica. Qualify. That's good. Fans will be happy. We've done what we needed to do. Let's just have a look at the club objectives. Let's see where we needed to be. Oh, well, they're disappointed we're working with the wage budget. Well, that's understandable. Um, they want to reach the latter stages of the Champions League. So I assume that means we've got to get past the next, the, the first knockout rounds. Then I, I suppose they'll probably be alright with that. Because we've got to keep the board happy and we've got to keep the fans happy or else they'll sack us and then, and then the save's over, basically. See if the board will give me a new contract. Ask for some more scouts. Uh, ask to increase the coach wage. Thirty for November in the game. And we can stream for now. Forty-six minutes. It's a uh, flu boy today. I can't believe we've we've already done 40, 47 minutes into the stream. Um, I feel like I'm starting to get the hang of this now. I keep having to adjust my mask, but yeah. It is what it is. Um, so they're going to they're gonna let us have 20 scouts. Well, that's good. And increase the, the wage. But they won't give us... Uh, increase the wage for the coach, sorry. But they won't give us a new contract yet. Well, that's fair enough. Let's send out a jobs centre alert for a new under-21s assistant manager, some more scouts, and an under-18s for this year, and we'll see what comes up. Burnley next. Hopefully we can beat them. They're doing well this season, Burnley. Not so much in real life, unfortunately. Uh, not that I'm complaining, because Vincent Company, former Man City captain, I, I don't like him for that reason alone. He might be the very nice bloke, but... Yeah. Play for Man City, so there you go. Could be worse. Could have played for Liverpool, eh, Copsy? No, I'm only joking, I'm only joking mate. Um, Wilson out for seven days. I might look into selling Wilson in January because I don't. I don't think he's done that well for us, to be honest. I'll have a look in a second. I don't think he scored that many goals. He's always getting injured. So four goals in ten games. It's 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 okay. It's 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 similar to probably Anthony Martial at Man United. He probably plays like ten, fifteen games a season and scores probably about eight eight goals or something, which isn't too bad, but. You know, I want I want better better strikers than that. If only I had the money to sign him, eh? Cavadonna. Is his mate is his Victor uh Osimano still there? Yeah, he's still there. I'll add him to the shortlist. Now on a previous Newcastle save I did on FM twenty three after uh, the first season, I was able to sign him, but I don't. I don't know whether I'll be given enough money. Let's have a look at the projected transfer budgets. Oh, we should. We should be right. If we, if we only sign him and nobody else, we might be able to do it on a, like a long, a long. If we space it over forty-eight months, we might be able to do it. But at the moment, the balance is not very good as well. I'm waiting for uh, the owners to plonk some money in. Yeah, I'll I'll look to get him in, if I can. I might even try to uh, see if the the board will sign him for me. You never know; they might they might think he's a superstar signing that we need to sign. In fact, I'll try it now. 
happily. It's easier to do it this way than searching for him, typing his whole name in. Right, let's go transfer, make offer, interact with board. They'll probably say no. Yep. Uh, worth a try, lads. Worth a try. He's got an 86 million release clause and Real Madrid are after him as well. So I highly doubt we're going to sign him, but you never know. He is the type of player I want to sign to progress the club. And he's definitely better than bloody Callum Wilson. Right, so we're playing Burnley next. We've got Pope in goal. Liveramento on as right back. Shah, Burnt, Target, Longstaff. Bruno in a more uh, central midfield position instead of behind. Gordon on the right. Anderson in the middle. Barnes on the left. He's up up front. Uh, let's get the Geordie, Geordie fans up. Let's make the Geordie fans happy. Oh, yes, that's a great start. Home goal. Let's slow it down. And then we'll click on the goal again. So it was cornered by target, bounced over, bounced again. Tar oh no, Barnes had it, gave it to target, and he just clipped off the player. Why won't it let me turn off replays now? That's annoying. I don't know. Gordon now. Oh, I thought it was going to be a repeat of the first goal there. Oh, Burnley storming ahead. Oh, there's a good little ball. They're playing some good football here. They're, they're definitely, you can definitely tell they're a Vincent Company team. Just going to take a sip of my uh, drink. Always hydrate, uh, hydrate. Drinking zero sugar Sprite today. But as my girlfriend says, just because it hasn't got sugar in doesn't mean it hasn't got rubbish in there that will still not good for you, which is true. Gordon now. Long stuff. Back to burn. Burn all the way back to Pope. Pope to Shah. Shah pushes it forward. Oh, a lovely little pass by Bruno. Oh, nicely tucked in by Isaac. Is it is it onside? Yeah, it's onside. Let's see. Raise the team. Remove that. Add that. Waste a bit of time adding for set pieces. So to keep this save interesting, because the tactic I use is pretty good. So, but to keep this save interesting, it's all about trying to win the Premiership consistently and the Champions League, and also bringing in the best players. And that, like bringing in the the, the whole point of this save is to bring in Galactico type of players like Mbappe and Haaland. So that's what's going to keep this save interesting to a point. Oh, what a what a goal by Gordon! But it all depends on how much backing I get. And stuff like that, uh, and depends on whether the players want to go, because it takes ages to get the reputation of the club up to the point where certain players like Mbappe will go to them. So you can, it's all good you having the money, but if he doesn't think you're good enough, then he doesn't think you're good enough. And I need to win the Premiership to start off with to get the right players in. Sorry if we keep adjusting my mask; it's driving me mad today. Right, okay. There we go. I feel like that's more settled now. Okay. Constantly adjusting. There we go. I don't know how these Mexican wrestlers do it with these masks on. I, I'm struggling to watch a screen on there. I don't know how they wrestle in them. 
Is your favourite Mexican wrestler then Copsy? Do you have one? Are you a wrestling fan? Ooh, Sky Dover. Gordon now to Barnes. Barnes with a great ball to Gordon. Will Gordon go on? Oh, lucky Gordon. Right, let's take a few players off now. Gordon, you've done well. Put Richie on for him. Bruno, you're coming off. Uh, anybody else? Yep. Yeah. Target, you come for off. Come on for you. I'm going to end up ripping this mask at this rate because it's just ridiculous. There we go. I've just got to stop fidgeting with it, I think. Just ignore it. Yeah, sorry about that. Right. We are top of the league. We are top of the league. Four points ahead now. Let's just have a quick look at the table. So, Man United are one, they've got a game ahead of us. So, if they win, then we're only one point ahead of them. So, we've got to keep constant, we've got to kind of get a couple of wins in a row with Man United losing, really. But Liverpool, they're not far off. Man City as well, and they'll probably end up getting better as the season goes on. Let's have a look at our fixtures coming up. So, we've got, we've got a couple of relatively easy games West Ham Luton and then we've got a big game in the Champions League group stage against Napoli which will probably decide top or second um, and then we've got an easiest game against Wolves and then we've got Liverpool and then two easiest games in the rest of December so we've got Man United in the 6th of uh, January so that'll be a big game I reckon Take this hat off my thing. I'll just leave it like that. Okay, it's better. I see better than last now. Next game, West Ham. Like I said, we should beat them. Mother, 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 Diddy doing well in training again. The, uh, Technical director has brought in Wayne Jacobs as our under 21's assistant manager. He's not very good, but I'll leave it for now. There's nothing I can do about it now. Sheffield Wednesday next in the FA Cup, I mean. Shout out to the people in my chat room again. Thank you to Copsy for talking to me. Doesn't make it makes it feel like I'm not talking to myself, so that's good. I appreciate that. Um, thank you to all the other ones that are there. I hope you're enjoying it. If you have any suggestions of players that you want me to try and go for or anything like that, I'm open to suggestions. Um, I don't have any money at the moment, and I won't do for a while. So it might be more for next season, but. Unless the board backed me before December, uh, before January, sorry. I have more coaches now, so that's good. So let's send in send out a job advert for that. Make a goalkeeper coach and a fitness coach. Just the the more we have of them, the better. Now before we play West Ham, Anthony Gordon's back from injury. That's good. He's been playing pretty well lately. 
I say that now, a lot of jinx to me is going to be rubbish now for the next four or five games. Sean Longstaff, uh, not playing as well. I think I might just, I think I might sell him. The fans won't be happy, but I don't think of his career at the end of the day. I could just sell him and then just replace him with his brother. You know, I mean, he's better than his brother, but you just do that, I suppose. That is. Can I go for Deli Alley yet? Oh, yeah, I haven't got the money anyway, have I? Doesn't matter. I've got to sell before I can buy. Which is annoying when you're a big club like Newcastle. You just. you you got to think that the, uh, the owner would just give you loads of money. Right, so line up for West Ham game. Pope in goal, Trippier right back, Lazelles and Botman in defence. That worries me with Lazelles in there. Uh, Burners left back, Hall in there, Longstaff, Almiron, Brahim, Joe Linton on the left, Wilson. Quite a weakened team, to be honest, but we will do what we can with what we've got. Just gone past the hour mark in the stream, and uh, thanks again for everybody that's watching. I hope I'm coming across in a good way. Um, if I'm coming across as annoying, I apologise. I can only be me, and uh, a lot of people have said I'm like Marmite, you either like me or you hate me, there's no middle ground with me, so hopefully there's more people that like me than don't like me on here. Oh no, that's too, that's too fast now. Alright, Hall now with the corner. It's nicely saved by Ariola. Oh, that was a dirty foul by Longstaff. He's getting red carded for that. He's definitely going to get booked at least. Yeah, well done Longstaff, you plonker. All because I tried to sell you. So now we just try and salvage a point out of this. We'll go very defensive. We'll go frequent time wasting um, and just hope for the best. That was really careless. We were doing well before then as well. We were doing very well. I think West Ham will, will get FM now. We've had two players get booked as well, so that's a bit worrying. If we get another red card, we're screwed. West Ham now, all over us. We've just got to hope that we can keep defending and just good save by Pope. Let's try demanding more. Almer on now. You never know, we might be able to sneak a 1-0 victory over these. Oh yes, is that going to be disallowed though? That was, I think that was offside. We'll see. Let's see what VAR says. VAR. Yeah. Oh, look. Oh. Oh. We're all over him. Even though we're a man down, we're all over him. Wilson's not playing well, though, as usual. Definitely need to get rid of Wilson, I think. Use that money for... If I get any money for Wilson, I'll use that money to get a better striker. If I can't get um, Victor Ormachon, I'll have to have a look out. Maybe Dominic Calvin-Lewin, if I can get him in. Or somebody else. Let's put Izak on. Izak should be basically starting every game, really. We can't, we can't rely on Wilson now, I think. Great ball there, Almiron now. Oh yes, Raheem Diaz. Literally, I just, I just about to take him off as well. 
typical that is. Uh, no, I'm not going to change it. I'm going to keep him on. He's just scored. He went from a 6.3 rating to a 7.2. So I'm glad that we cancelled that. Right. Let's take a few players off. Is there going to be any more drama, or is that it? We needed to win that. Thank God for that. Long staff, I'm not happy with you. You could have cost us our, uh, our lead on the table. Uh, no, I'm not appealing it. It was an obvious foul. Eric Ten Hag has been seen at New St James's Park during Newcastle United's one 0 Premier Premiership victory over West Ham United. Speculation in the media suggests that Ten Hag may be having a look, closer look at Kieran Trippier Gray, who is rumoured to be interested in signing. Let's see if we can offer him a new contract. See if that will deter him. Oh, we can. Um, I don't want to have that though. I don't want to have that. Let's try and see if he accepts. Oh, that's good. He accepts that. He's happy with that. Right, he's gone. You are staying here, Trippier. You are not going anywhere. Ten Hag can look elsewhere. You don't need making worse Ten Hag anyway. Let's be honest. Anybody that goes to Man United, they end up doing worse. And like I said, that's coming from a Man United fan. Oh, we've got six people in the chat now. Nice to see you all. Thank you for coming. Feel free to say hello in the chat so I can give you a shout out if you want. How many scouts can we get? Four. Okay. Let's see the potential. Go for Jim Lawler, good old Jim Lawler, former Man United scout. David Trezeguet, a great former striker for Juventus. Let's get a new stadium. They weren't having it. I'll wait until I become a legend there, and then I'll ask for a new stadium. Didn't it be named after me? With a statue, of course, obviously. I want a statue with, with me and Faustino Rispero having a drink in a pub. I want that statue. With his son sitting there watching us. We're in training camp, yeah. I don't know why they bother with the sports scientists. What the hell did a sports scientist do on the game? They don't do anything, I don't think. It's not, it's not, I don't know what they do. I don't know. I just think they're pointless. Pointless staff role. Luton next. Uh, could do with resting some players, actually, to be honest. I mean, none of these are first team players. Let's just untick these so I know that. Right, so he's in the first team squad somehow. I don't know how. Probably because we're that desperate for right backs, we've had to have him in. He's pretty good though. He's only 16, so he's not ready for first team football yet. How is uh? How is Nathan and the young? Online? No, it's not online. Um, two goals and three assists in ten games in the under twenty ones. It's not the best. Let's see if I can send them out on loan. I don't think I'll send anybody out on loan because the transfer window is not open at the moment. But start the ball rolling at least. Uh, right, so we 
he's probably the best one out of the lot. How many coaches can we get? Four, we took. So we get another one of these, and then we can get a goalkeeper one and a fitness one, and that will improve it greatly. Graham Carrick's already here. Smith either. Uh, we haven't much else here really, there's not really anybody. Uh, no, he's not really affecting me too, too decent. I suppose I could have him concentrate on the technical side of things. Starting lineup for the game against Luton. Pope in goal. Livermento on the right on the right back position. Shah and Byrne in defence. Target on the left. Bruno there. Anderson. Almiron. Brahim Diaz. Anthony Gordon and Isaac up front. Sounds good to me. We should be beating Luton Town. With all due respect to Luton Town fans, including uh, one of my favourite GTA roleplay so, um, streamers, Deggy. I do apologise, but you know, not the best. They're doing well though. They're doing they're doing better than I thought they would. So I had a, I had a decent save with Luton Town on uh, in FM twenty three when I when I updated the database for Luton to be in the Premiership. Um, so yeah, Ooh, what a great goal by Almiron. Let's slow this down a bit. It's a bit too fast. Getting the balance between the two, you don't want it too fast, but you don't want it too slow as well. Not as far as Crystal Palace and Everton, currently bottom of the Premiership in the game. Villa not doing very well, mid table. Usual six there. Maybe Spurs are probably underperforming as well, I suppose. Brentford doing Brentford things by being mid table and just not causing any fuss, just getting on with what they do. They will uh, definitely be happy to have Ivan Tony back if he doesn't go in the transfer window. Oh, what a great goal by Tino! Ooh, Tino! He's not as good as Tino or Spurrier, though. Two goals up in the first half. We'll take that all day long. I'm just going to praise the players. Almiron has taken a knock, so we'll take him off. Replace him with Harvey Barnes. Hope now to Shah. Shah doesn't know what he's going to do. Oh, there we go. To Burn. Burn a little bit quicker than Shah. Anderson. Oh, that was a terrible pass, Anderson. Come on. I know you're young, but you shouldn't be doing that. Pope now with the ball to burn. Burn to Gordon to target. Back to burn. Some great little transitions here. Nice little bit of passing and possession going on. Livermento deflected. Back to Isaac. Rod Isaac. Oh, Isaac should have done better than that. Almiron to Shah pushing forward now that's a foul that's that's in the box that is I think that was just in the box I could be wrong VIR will be checking this is this going to be a penalty it is it's a penalty get in he's at now line it up against Kaminsky he scores the fans go crazy the Newcastle away fans go crazy for Isaac, the hero. Right, do I need to be taking anybody off? Probably not. Everybody seems to like. Oh, burn, burn. Probably need to come off. I think. Put your guys on. Okay, 
Oh, Diaz. We can't ever count. Over Vincent. Um, can we put anybody on the left? Matt Ritchie. I'll do. I mean, you can tell. We can tell we were uh, weak in depth when Ryan Cassidy's on the subs bench. But there's nothing we can do unless we're given money in January. We can make a few sales for players that aren't playing. Oh my god, what a goal by Elliot Anderson. Get in, my son. Local lad. I think he's local. Is he local? Let's have a look. Yep, Newcastle boy. Him and Lewis Miley. Going to be the future of the club. Great save by Pope, knocks it over. I don't think it was going to go in, but Pope made sure. Richie with the free kick. Oh, good save by their goalkeeper, literally the same as our as the other highlight. Nice little 4 0 win. Keeping the lead at the Premiership. We're now three points. There's three points difference between us and Man United. So I will be playing for another 45 minutes and then I've got to go to the post office at half four-ish before they close. I've got my um, girlfriend's Christmas present. They tried to deliver today but I wasn't in. So I better get that today. This does annoy me about football manager that 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 his value was like I think it was twelve to sixteen million before I tried to transfer him, and now his value's gone down to that. So uh, it's a bit frustrating. Less money in our bank. Uh, I've offered him out again with us paying some of the wage. Hopefully that will entice some teams to go for him. Kieran Trippier commits his future to Newcastle. That's good. Hopefully he'll retire here. Because he's been really good for Newcastle in real life and for me on the game. So that's good. Yeah, so we'll probably be finishing about half four on here today. Um, but thank you for anybody that's been watching from the start. I'm just going to add Mr. Mbappe to my short list. Maybe I could sign his brother and then that'll, that'll help me lure in uh, Kylian Mbappe. I, um, 
I did a youth academy I only say with SC Toulon in France and um, because I was doing the youth academy challenge that's on the side game forums and um, I actually got the what they his name was Armand Armand Mbappe and he was actually related to it was a regen that was um, the next they said it was the next Kylian Mbappe and it's quite funny they had the same name they weren't related but um, yeah he was only with me for about a season and then and then a bigger club signed him but um, I got a decent fee for him and I think he, I think he he ended up not doing much for he was into Milan he went to he didn't really play for him but it was a shame because he was really good uh, but the AI is not very good at uh, making players better usually there are exceptions but that's why I always cash in transfer clauses because the likelihood of that player going on to play well to then go on to get transferred to a bigger team so you get a bigger fee it, it, it very rarely happens so I just I just I always just sell the clauses as soon as I can Napoli next game right line up for against Napoli Pope in goal Livermento again he's uh, starting to play there quite regularly now Shah in the central defence with Botman target on the left Bruno in the defensive midfield position Joe Linton in the middle Correa Car uh, on the right Brahim Diaz in the middle Gordon on the left and Isaac up front oh no 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 nearly messed up again then Oh, I just realised nobody can... Can nobody see me on camera? Popsy, can you see me on uh, camera? Because I can't see me on there, can you? No. I'm not on there. Not that anybody needs to see me. I'm not that bothered, but... It is a bit annoying. Bear with us, I'm just gotta tinker around with something. Right. Okay. Bear with me. I don't know why this does this all the time, it's really annoying. There you go. You can see my ugly mug with the cam with the mask on. There you go. Uh, push this down a bit. I'm seeing things differently than you lot are seeing, so I do apologise. But anyway, right. You can see me again now. So. There you go, Copsy. You can see me with my mask on. Hope, hope I impress. All right, let's see how we get on versus Napoli. Oh, nearly, nearly scored an early goal then. Oh, well, Gordon's playing really well lately. Livermento has already got booked after three minutes. What are you doing, man? Have a word with yourself. Target now. Oh, nearly. Back to Livermento. Livermento, do not get red card in. We need, we need to win this game. Do we need to win this game? We basically need to win this game because Benfica will likely beat Rangers and I, don't, I can't remember what the goal difference is. So we definitely need to not lose this game at least. As long as we don't lose, we already have to substitute two players. That's not good. Livermento's gone off. You've got Byrne a left back as right back. I don't understand the logic of the assistant manager wanting to do that. Got 
three players booked already after 28 minutes. Longstaff's only just come on and he's already got booked. He got sent off the other day. Yeah, did he sell? Nice. Gordon. Oh, loses the ball. I think Napoli are playing better this at the moment. Oh, you say that though. We've had. Yeah. Our XG's better. Not that that matters in the grand scheme of things, really. Right, Bruno to Longstaff. Come on, Longstaff. Don't be an idiot. Correa back to Shah. Shah now knocks it over to Correa. Correa. Oh. Oh, deflected. Gordon drives on. Pass it to Longstaff. Longstaff, don't know what he was doing there. Back to target. Target tries to chip the goalkeeper. Gives us a corner. Target uh, needs to come off now. Can't run it on. Nice. As long as we don't lose. We'll still qualify. Oh, here we go. Near my big mouth. Oh. Napoli in possession. Jesus. No, that's the player's name, not me. Oh. oh for God's sake. Pavlo. Pavlodonna. Maradona reincarnated, just scored. That's not ideal. We're still second though. We're only by two points. If Benfica. Oh, I'm not liking the looks of this. There we go. Come on, let's uh, try and get a goal back. Oh, we really could have scored that. We should have scored that. Oh no, not another highlight to Napoli, for God's sake. But this is all dependent on goal difference. We cannot concede another goal. Hey, come on, come on, lads, do it for the Geordies. Drum it now, drives on. Good pass to Longstaff. Longstaff now. Back to Bruno. Bruno, clever pass. Oh, no, not Bruno, sorry. Burn to Bruno. Drum it now. Oh, drum it. Could have been a hero then. The front three are absolutely knackered, so they're probably not going to want to try four in this game. Try and encourage them. I mean, we've been, you know, we've been doing well. Did Benfica beat Rangers? Oh, we were all right. Thank God for that. Joe Linton out for two to four days. Have we got any more Champions League group games? No, we haven't. Okay. Wolves next. Stuff bit another band then, did I just was it just, I went too fast with it then? Ah, okay. Okay, fair enough. I don't know why people bother with the uh, appeal system because it, it I don't think it ever goes your way. They either just stick to their original ruling or they end up giving him longer.
Right, Wolves next. We've got Pope in goal, Trippier right back, Lazelles and Byrne in defence, Target left back, Lewis Hall in defensive midfield position, um, a not fully fit Joe Linton in the middle, Almiron on the right, Anderson in the middle, Barnes on the left, and Wilson up front. Another weak midfield team. Lewis Hall's not fully fit either, so that's not good. Uh, yeah, half an hour left of the stream. Let's see how many games we can get done by then. And then I'm off to, to the post office. And then I'm going to sort my tea out because I'm starving. I'm, uh, I'm sick of chicken steaks and chips. I've had them for two days in a row now. So I'm going to cook some fresh chicken. Not batter, just fresh chicken. Um, put it in a pack it with some um, spices and uh, herbs and spices um, Nando's Na one that is these Nando bags and they you, you sprinkle herbs on the chicken and then you cook it in the bag I'll have, the, I'll have them with some pasta I think because I eat chips nearly every day and that's not good for me Oh, there we go. Callum Wilson. Oh, no, no, no. No, 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 no. Don't you dare. Wilson needs that to, for his confidence. If you disallow it. Oh, well done. Well done. Good. Well done, Wilson. Well done, Barnes. Right, Newcastle with the corner. Target. Oh. Target again. Oh, my God. I thought that was going to go in then. That was an incredible shot by Target. Oh, no, 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 no. We're not having this. We're not having Wolves beat us. Wilson now. Oh, losing possession. Get it back. Bruno now. Trippier. To Joe Linton. To Almiron. Oh, what a goal by Almiron. He just smashes that in. Two one. Good, 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 good. That's what we like to see. Oh, we got a free kick. Trippier. Oh my god, I thought that was going in. I'm oh, amazed that didn't go in. Trippier to Joe Linton. Oh, okay, we're now playing rugby again, skying it as high as we can. Can we uh, try and place our shots a bit more now, please? In fact, I swear there's something where it says don't attempt. Oh, I don't know. That's the wrong thing. Instructions. Instructions. Yes. Right. I don't want to shoot on sight. I can do it before and See if that'll work fit in anyway. Trippier. Anderson back to Trippier. Trippier to Target to Bruno. Oh. You never know, lads. If you have about 100 shots, long shots on Target, one of them might go in eventually. You never know. Wasting opportunities here. Walls are going to. Make us pay for these missed chances now. Oh, here we go. Barnes now drives forward. Zells to Almiron. Oh, at least it wasn't a like hoof shot. Could have been placed better though. Right, Trippier now. That was a waste. Right, let's take Bruno off as well. Barnes, get him in. Who can we put in there? Uh, which is it? Can we put in? Think, 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 think. He's in there. Swapping with Joe Linton. Right, now we might be able to. There we go. 
try and be a bit more attacking now. Hopefully that won't come back to bite us in the arse. For God's sake. Going to berate the team. Shouldn't be drawing. Oh. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Still gonna, I've still berated the players. Nothing I can do about it now. They're probably not happy with me now. They're probably miffed at me going, we're winning, mate. We're winning, boss. Barnes with the free kick. Weirdly. I thought it would be trickier, but okay. That was because Trippier's not playing. Took him off. Have we got enough to see this game out? It's... Oh, come on. Nice comfortable win for us. Oh, we're playing Man United next game. Bloody hell, we're going through these games, aren't we? Felt like ages ago until we, we were playing Man United and it's just come out of nowhere now. Um, I hope everybody's enjoying the pace of the game. If if you if you think I'm going getting through games too quickly, please let me know. I just tend to play the game very fast and get the staff to do basically everything. So let's do the Champions League group, um, Champions League knockout stage. Let's start the draw. I'm going to press something. Start the draw. There we go. Galatasaray are playing Manchester United. It's an interesting game. Hopefully, you know Berlin can beat Man United. Dominique versus. Please, not us. Please, not us. Napoli. That could have been us because they were in our group. Manchester City. Hopefully, not us. Please, not us. We're going to be playing. Borussia Dortmund, that'd be an entertaining game for a neutral. Porto, I don't mind playing Porto, I'd be happy playing Porto. Porto versus Barcelona. Some big teams out the out the pack. We're playing 
Arsenal, by the way. And we've got Real Madrid, Atletico Madrid, A similar. PSG, there's still quite a few teams there. Real Madrid, so that's two of the big teams out of the way. We have a four teams left. So AC Milan, Atletico Madrid or Arsenal. Arsenal, neither are easy games. Arsenal versus Atletico Madrid. So then we're playing AC Milan, I think. Yeah. Oh, home game, that's good. AC Milan, I think. I assume so. AC Milan, there you go. Nice fixture in Europe. Newcastle versus AC Milan. That is 21st of February, so we won't play that today. Hopefully I can try and get as close to um, the end of this month as possible before I go. And then we can uh, start the stream when I play. I might play tomorrow afternoon if I, uh, if I get to my girlfriend's in time before she comes back from work. So I might do like a two hour stream then. Yeah, okay, Copsy. I think Liverpool will probably beat me, to be honest. They're, uh, they're very strong on football manager, so uh, we'll see. But yeah, hopefully I can thrash Man United. I need, to, I need to win every game, though, to be honest, mate. So I'll be trying my best to beat Liverpool. Sorry. I apologise in advance. So what I'll try and do is I'll probably play this game and then Liverpool game and then I'll see what time it is after that because I don't I don't want to miss this parcel. Right, so Pope and goal, Trippi right back, Shah and uh, Botman as central defence, target left back, Bruno Gamares in the defensive midfield position, Joe Linton in the middle, Almon on the right, Brahim Diaz in the middle, Gordon on the left and Isaac on the up front. Oh no no no! I'll stop doing that. Come on, Newcastle! Let's have a bright start to this game. Let's put Man United in their place. So if Man United win, I mean, look at that. Them two, them three teams all week. Oh no, there you go. Arsenal's winning now, but literally all them three teams. I mean, luckily we've got um, Liverpool's got a game ahead of us, but yeah. Right, Man United with the corner mount. Great save by Pope. Oh. Oh. The last thing we need is Arsenal, Liverpool, Man United all hitting form at the same time. Puts pressure on us that we don't need. Oh, sorry about that. That's put the phone aside. Saved by Onana. Ah, oh, Rashford. nil down that's not good try and demand more come on Newcastle let's get a goal straight away show them that we're not scared Ibrahim clearance by Man United I thought that was going to lead to a goal then Off, he's knackered. Put Elliot Anderson on. Even Trippier is one yellow card away from suspension. So put Liver on Manito on. Bruno is not doing very well, so we'll take him off. And he's, and he's knackered. Uh, let's have a team for him.
Sorry, sometimes I mumble, sometimes I speak quietly, I apologise. Um, still getting used to doing this and talking at the same time. I'm so used to playing this game in silence. Right, Anderson to Almiron. Oh, nearly. I wonder if I can sign... Um, I wonder if I can sign Hulk. Do you remember Hulk, the Brazilian player? Striker, Hulk, there we go. 37 years old. I haven't got any money. I keep I keep forgetting I've got no money. Yes. I'll add him to the shortlist. Um four brain even. No, we haven't we haven't got any money have we? No. Oh well. It was a nice idea why it lasted. I just want to watch Hulk just run and blast the ball into the top corner. This is not good. I'm going to have to berate the players. Hopefully that'll do something. Man United in possession. That's not winning. Come on then. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on, Burn. Burn with the ball. To Botman. Botman now doesn't know what the hell to do. So he's going to lock it over here. Shah now drives it forward to Anderson. Anderson to Almon. Back to Shah. Sharp with the ball to Almond. We just feel like we're just passing it sideways here at this point. Come on, let's drive it forward. We're going to lose possession in this. I can just feel it. Oh. Yes. Oh, no. Robbed at the last minute with an equaliser. Last couple of minutes with an equaliser. Referee VAR is going to let us down here. Oh, yes. Works every time. Say the opposite of what you think is going to happen, and then it'll happen. Oh my god. Just got the bloody equaliser. Oh, come on. Fire up. We've got no time left to do anything here. Oh, that is disappointing. We got it back to 1 1 as well. That's just football manager for you. We're still, we're still top. We've got three point lead over Arsenal, Man United. Liverpool didn't win, but they've got a a game ahead and they're playing us next <sighs> and playing them away as well Dan Burn injured for two or three weeks that's not good we could do we could have done with him staying on the pitch um, yeah. not the end of the world we're still tough yeah I know I know mate I know I know Copsy tell me about it frustrating Annoyingly, it it was like we scored with three minutes to go. I thought that's it. We got it back to one one. Next, literally two seconds later, Bruno Fernandez just blasted it in. He was like, "Nah." He was like, "Nah, mate. We're winning this game. You went, you went drawing." Bloody Bruno Fernandez. I'm probably uh, I'm going to play this game and then I'm going to call it a day I think Liverpool game get to that post office in time like I said moving forward after Christmas is done and New Year I will be probably streaming every day and putting uh, putting the streams on here and also my Everton Save them going to start soon, so I should be doing about four hours of content a day. Football manager, um, just see how I get on with that, really. And then, obviously, after I've done a few seasons with both teams, I will move forward and do some fresh Twitch streams and with a different club, maybe a journeyman save where I start unemployed, forward it six months, and then start applying for jobs. And then, see how I get on, right? So Liverpool away. Hopefully we can beat the Scousers. Sorry, Topsy. Um, Pope in goal. Chippy right back. Shah in defence with Botman. Target in left back. Bruno in the midfield with Joe Linton. Corriere on the right. Anderson on, in the middle. Barnes in the, on the left. And Wilson up front. Uh, so that team. Have a look. 
Come on, let's beat the Scousers. I don't want Liverpool beating us 4-3. Uh, yeah. Fame, that famous game, that 4-3 victory Liverpool did. They did it twice, didn't they? I think they did it twice in one season. They beat Newcastle 4-3 two games in a row. I could be wrong. Topsy will probably know. I still remember Stan Collymore scoring that goal. No, 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 no. This is not the start we want. For the man more. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna be harsher with these now. Oh for God's sake, Van Dyke with the header from the corner. I worry this is the uh the, the mid season decline. I'm just gonna fire up. I've gotta i I've gotta do something to get these go these lads going. They just seem to have their com they just seem their confidence is down all of a sudden. Yeah, good old Darwin Knight and Nunes. He's always good for a booking as well when you do when I when I do these booking travels, if Liverpool are playing, I usually put Darwin Nunes in there. Because he's a bit he's a bit of a hothead at times. Reminds me of Lewis Soares. Likes a booking. We are not doing well here. One shot, not point. Ah, oh, two shots now. Right, let's try demanding more. See if that'll do anything. Andrew Career is doing rubbish. So we're gonna take him off. I'm on. God, Liverpool. Ooh, that nearly went in then. Come on, Shaw. Let's do something. Let's get a po let's get a point out of this at least. Not that we deserve it because Liverpool have been the way better team, but oh, here we go. Ooh. Hope keeping us in the game for now. Fire up these players. Right, I'm not happy about this. We need to do something tactically with this. Um, sorry, wrong thing. Um, I can't take any further instructions. So, I think we need to shoot on sight. We need to get more shots going. Take a play, set pieces, uh, more direct. Anything we can do here? No. Okay. Stop passing. Oh, I forgot to do something else as well. Right. Out of possession. Oh, it's already as high as it can be. Okay. Right. Will this make any difference? Nah, no, probably not. I look at Liverpool. Look like they're going to more likely to score here. Oh. Oh. Barnes, who was that to? You had time there. You could have. You could have looked up. Oh, here we go. For God's sake. Oh, come on, ref. VAR. VAR. I think I was offside, personally. Yep. Thank God for that. Still not going to get a point out of this, but at least it's only a 1-0 loss. That is just... Drum, this is why you don't play a drum it. You, you, dumb it, sorry. You just, uh, you're a dummy. Dumb it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Liverpool defensive cock up now. Come on. Come on. That's it, get the ball. There we go. Trippier, where are you going? Pope, come on, we're running out of time here. 
Come on. Get the ball, that's it. Dumb it, don't lose it. Who's that to? You're not playing heads and volleys in the park now. Come on. Oh, for sake. We're so much better than this usually. I don't know why we're playing so bad. 2 0. 2 0. No, is this going to be disallowed as well? Referee on our side today, I think. V A R. V A R. Ah. Uh, oh well. We're still top, but we're neck and neck on points. So the pressure's on us now. If Barnes going to get a consolation goal, he does. Don't think we've got time for another one, but you never know. At least he scored. Well done, Barnes. Oh well. Topsy, you jinxed me, mate. It's your fault. You jinxed me. I blame you. <laughs> I'm only joking, mate. We've got a good goal difference, though. So at the moment, neck and neck, we're uh, we're doing well. But right, but yeah. Right then, well that's me done for today. Thank you to Copsy. Um, don't worry, you don't need to apologise, mate. I'm just joking. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. I'm finishing now, anyway, buddy. But thanks for uh, contributing to the chat room. Um, makes the stream a lot better for me, so I do appreciate it. And feel free to give us a follow and uh, come back at, at some point and see how I get on. But yeah, thank you, mate, and have a nice evening, and Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas to everyone else that's been watching, and all the best, and enjoy the rest of your evening. All the best. Bye.